Each year, more than 67,000 woodworkers and do-it-yourselfers have their life changed by a table saw. Table saw causes the most accidents of any tool in the garage or the shop. Um, and you know, I have a saw stop, so this isn't something I worry about as much anymore, but I've always wanted to know how safe is a saw stop. So last week, Mark and I rented a Phantom V2640, uh, the world's highest definition slow motion camera and we did a ton of activations. One of the cool things about this camera is we were able to get shots that have never been seen before. In fact, I think uh, never before has a high definition shot of a dado activation been done. I think I've seen Saw Stop post an older black and white one, but man, did we get some cool shots that are really gonna show off this tech in super slow-mo. Also, we did six regular activations and we did one at super high speed. So I went as fast as I could with the hot dog. And honestly, the results are probably gonna surprise you. Um, so let's talk about the test. So we did the test on my five horsepower ICS saw stop, which is industrial cabinet saw. I used to have the PCS in some of my older videos. That's the professional cabinet saw. But recently we upgraded and we got the overarm dust collection, which is awesome, by the way. You should check out that compilation video I posted last Sunday of all our slow-mo shots. Uh, it's got some cool dust collection shots of both this and the regular dust collection shoot. We used Nathan Ballpark Franks. They were about the size of my thumb. That's why I used them about one inch uh, in diameter. And we did six regular activations with a 10 inch blade and three dado stack activations with an eight inch blade. The five horsepower ICS is the second most powerful saw that SawStop has. So you can know that, you know, if you have a PCS or a lower model saw that they have the same exact tech and brake cartridges in them and the tests would perform even better on your machine. This is uh, their, their top of the line one, I think is seven horsepower, uh, but basically this is the biggest and baddest they have, uh, sans one saw, and you know uh, that it's going to do some damage to these brake cartridges. All right, let's talk about what happens when you cause an activation. We're gonna show you regular speed first, followed by the high speed slow motion footage, and then I'm gonna walk you through all the steps of what happened. So what happens when you have an activation? Well, the blade has a three volt current that is running through at all time. That is measured, which is a sine wave, by the computer inside your saw. When you touch it, you actually lower the amplitude of that sine wave, which then causes a chain reaction that takes place over a fraction of a second. The computer sends a charge of electricity through a fuse wire, which is holding the spring under tension, which then fires this aluminum, what I like to call a crumple zone break into the blade. Uh, and it's designed sort of like the crumple zones in cars. There are portions that are designed uh, to absorb the impact and compress. And so your blade, which a uh, standard curved blade weighs about two pounds, stops at about a thousand Gs of force. Now to compare this, this would be like flying a fighter pilot into a concrete wall at a thousand miles per hour. We don't really even have a frame of reference to compare it to something that we can experience, but you can see here from our five hot dogs, here's a few shots of them. It stops it so fast that it doesn't even scratch the hot dog. It, you know, if that was you, I don't even think that would draw blood. And I actually personally have set off my saw stop before and you could see like a little scratch where it scratched my finger, but there certainly was no blood. But one of the things that I always hear when you know I see one of these at a convention at the saw stop booth or you see comments in YouTube videos where people say yeah but they go so slow with the hot dogs so what if you went as fast as you could um, we decided to try that out by throwing a hot dog into the blade as fast as I could and we calculated through frame rate that I did it about as hard as the average human could punch at full power so uh, here is the fast motion clip and then the high speed footage and we'll talk about the damage it did afterwards. So look at this, this is pretty crazy. With all of that speed and inertia and you know, I followed through into the blade, it only cut that hot dog by an eighth of an inch. Against my thumb, that wouldn't even come close to hitting bone. At an eighth of an inch, you're, you're barely getting into the flesh there. You might have a couple stitches, but certainly you'd be back at work as soon as you're able to get your stitches out and it really wouldn't do any lasting damage. So I was super impressed by that because I really, I gave that all I had. And what I think that shows 
is that if you, for some reason, were sprinting through your shop, the table saw was on and you tripped and fell directly into your blade, you're gonna walk away with just a little cut. Or, I think what it really shows is if you had a major kickback, so if you were already past your blade, had a major kickback and it just ripped your hand through there at full speed, you're gonna get a little nick, but your fingers are gonna live to fight another day, and that's pretty incredible. But I think where I was really, really impressed by the shoot we did was the dado activation. So while a 10-inch blade weighs two pounds, a dado stack can weigh five to eight pounds. So that's like 2.8 to four times as many Gs. So I, you know, I'm not a physicist, but you guys can calculate that for me down in the comments. And when you look at a dado activation, it, it works the same way. The brake cartridge is, however, bigger. One, because it needs to cover more distance because it's a smaller diameter blade. So it needs to be taller anyways, but it's also wider because it needs to absorb so much more force. In fact, that force was so intense that we, sh we caught something on camera that I, I don't even know if you're gonna believe. Man, that was certainly very sobering to see. And although that's a really cool slow motion clip, it certainly really made me appreciate the, the ability that this saw has to stop something moving at so much force that it could break welds on saw teeth. And I certainly recommend to anybody that you always have your safety glasses on and certainly an apron like the Cat's Moses apron, it, it can't hurt to wear because it protects you from things like kickbacks and uh, all sorts of things that can come in contact with your body. But what was really impressive is, is check out these hot dogs. Now, the regular 10 inch blade activations, you know, they got a little scratch, but the dados, when you have, you know, 2.8 to four times the force, uh, really no harm, no foul. I mean, to me, that's the scariest thing. Using a dado stack is scary. These are illegal in Europe. Uh, for a reason, because they're big mass of steel and carbide spinning at 4,000 RPMs, and it's hard to slow down. So it certainly is not something I've ever seen before. I've never seen a dado activation, and it's something that I'm super happy now that we've been able to test this, that I know my saw is gonna perform if the impossible or the uh, unexpected ever happens to me, because man, I like these things, and it's gonna be really important for me to keep them as long as I can. So when you hear people say, oh, he went too slow, or you know, there's some design flaw where, yeah, it may stop it, but your hand's still gonna get mangled. It's not, I did nine activations in a row and they all came out with very, very minor, minor damage or none at all. And I think that's super impressive. So as always guys, if you wanna support the channel, head over to the Cat's Moses store. You can pick up a Cat's Moses apron, a dovetail jig or a stop block. Stay safe in the shop. Have a wonderful day.